He's VB and he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, Feral Southern Hangers. G'day, beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Ed. G'day, beer lovers. VB are celebrating at the moment in Australia and they've gone back to the original can design in the 1940s which is when the beer first got brewed so this is limited edition only okay I feel that the general community and the entire world are divided divided between the people that uphold high moral values and the rest of us the same division exists on YouTube also. On YouTube we have these people that go around and they act like YouTube police officers, self-appointed mind you, and they pull people up on questionable moral values. You know, you think about it, we all know one or two YouTube officers out there. Last week someone made a comment on one of my old videos. It was the one where I did a comedy skit on the subject of bowel cancer. And, yeah, the, the video was called Blood on the Toilet Paper, if you want to go back and have a look at it. And one of my viewers castigated me. Yeah, he, he castigated me for joking about the subject of bowel cancer. Now, there is a classic example of one of YouTube's self-appointed police officers stepping in to give me a speeding ticket. When um, convicted pedophile Rolf Harris was sentenced to prison, I made a video and it was about the early years because he grew up in Perth, he was born in Perth and I did a video about his early years in Perth which coincided at the time that he was convicted. And again, <laughs> YouTube police officers came in and were unhappy about that video and I lost a few subscribers as a result of that video which I don't really care <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't really give me it doesn't really worry me actually if I fall out with people now I'm the sort of person that believes that morals of the real world should be just relaxed a little bit for YouTube now when it comes to the subject of humor and commenting on topical issues you know I, I accept the philosophy that there are no sacred cows you know everything is fair game however you still have to satisfy YouTube's strict rules okay so as long as you don't contravene those rules I'm, I'm happy with that so therefore everything else is fair game now if the rule of humour is that no one should joke about other people or the rule is you don't say anything that will offend other people well then the only jokes left are the chickens crossing the road jokes and that is racist against chickens so therefore you take that out there's nothing left to joke about okay all right now there will always be people out there, these self-appointed police officers out there with these high moral values. And there always and there's people like me. And I guess what I've got to do is learn to accept these other people. Okay? You know, they they will spend their entire lives perpetually morally offended. And I just have to accept that you're always going to have people like that. 